So teaching has always been um, my goal. So when my daughter turned um, high school age, I decided, you know what, I, I still have that passion. And I had been substituting on and off throughout those years. And I was with a principal that was just amazing. And she said, Lori, you really need to go back and do this. This is the time. Go do it. Miss Nixon started out with us in August of 2016 um, as a student teacher. And so um, in December of 2016, she moved into a classroom, took over a second grade classroom, and completely turned that classroom around. Um, last year in Miss Nixon's class, we did this book that, that we named When I Grow Up. Um, all of the students wrote about what they want to be when they grow up, and we drew pictures on the other side and stuff. Here's some of the pages. Whenever I knew we were getting Project Lead the way, uh, she was somebody that I saw that was dynamic that could really take that Project Lead the way class to another level. I had just fallen in love with the people at Gainesville. They were so open hearted, and I was just excited to get to be here. And so when we started researching what it really was, I really got excited about it. And after the training, I knew it was something that these kids were going to love. It was going to be something that they were just going to really get excited about. And, um, and they have. I mean, they have come in 100%. We always get a lot on the iPads about stuff, and she's just really fun. She's awesome all the time. Project Lead the Way is um, basically a feeder into STEM, the science, technology, uh, engineering, and mathematics, which they do at the high school and secondary levels. And so what we do is we try to open up experiences for the kids at the lower level so they can gain knowledge of something they may want to uh, go into at the high school level. So Miss Nixon is, is essentially seeing 700 students every week. We we learn about the body parts, what its job and what it's made out of. Like the bone, it is made out of four layers of our bone and it has different parts that keeps us healthy and what its job like its function and its structure. And her organization and her management that she provides in that classroom is stellar. It's it's uh, basically probably the best I've ever seen. Students know what they do when they go in there. Uh, they know their roles, they know their responsibilities. The students actually take control of their learning. When I went to the Capturing Kids Hearts um, training this summer and what can be, you know, my thing with the kids, how can I connect with them? I thought, you know, me and Shaka Khan, we're gonna do it with these kiddos. And One, two, three. Tell me something good. What's your good thing? I'm gonna do the water park. <gasps> the water park. And they love it. And the funny thing is I have, I'll be standing in the hall and somebody will go by me and all of a sudden I'll hear, tell me something good. Right behind me, you know, it's like when they see me, that's what they think. And so I'm just excited that, that I am able to connect because that was my goal. You can't describe a teacher like that. She she has the it factor, I guess you could say, and it's hard to pinpoint the it factor, but there's something about her that creates that in that classroom. And these kiddos are so special, and every person that I have come across in this district, that's how they feel, that these kids need us, and they need what we can give to them, and then we need what they can give back to us. And so it's like they're feeling a hole in my heart from when my daughter moved out. It's like now I have all these kiddos that I can love on, and I'm just thankful every day that I get to come here. We love Miss Nixon.